Hey there, Norman here from World Code, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Expanding Cards widget. The Expanding Cards widget adds dynamic interaction to your site with smoothly expanding or attracting cards. Each card features an image, title text, description text, and a button, offering a visually engaging way to display content. You can set the cards to autoplay in a seamless slideshow, or allow users to explore by manually clicking each card. Let's jump into the Builder and take a look at how to set this widget up. Here in the Builder, we have our Poke Restaurant template, and I'd like to add the Expanding Cards widget down the page in a new row to highlight some specific types of Poke Bowls that the restaurant offers and add some interaction to this site. Before we start, let me show you what we're going to be building in this video. We can see the expanding cards widget is sitting here on the page and it blends into the aesthetic of the site very nicely, adding some nice subtle interactions as well as adding some nice additional information to the page. Let's head back into the builder and get started. So let's scroll on down and create a new row. And then we can open our widgets panel, grab the expanding cards widget, and drag that right into this new row. Alrighty, so let's jump into the widgets option panel here and take a look at how to set this widget up. Here in the content tab, there are quite a number of options available. Starting at the top and working our way down, we have desktop visible cards. Use this drop down to select the number of cards to be displayed in the desktop layout. For this example, we will select three. Tablet visible cards. You'll use this drop down to select how many cards are visible on the tablet layout. Again, we'll select three. And following that, we have mobile visible cards, which will be used to select the number of cards that are displayed on the mobile layout. Following this, we have cards. This is where you will add your cards that will be visible in the widget. Each card will have multiple configuration options. We have a background image. This sets the background image for that card. Title. This is the title for the card. Card description. Sets the description for the card. Link allows you to link the card to a specific page or URL. Following that, we have a button label. This sets the label displayed on the button. Now I'm going to go ahead and populate a few cards off screen and I'll be right back. Alrighty, now that we have those cards added, continuing down next we have autoplay. When enabled, this allows the cards to automatically open and close, similar to a slideshow. For this example, we'll go ahead and enable this setting. We then have two additional options available to us. Now we have the pause on hover, which when enabled, will automatically pause the autoplay function when you hover over the cards. And autoplay delay. This specifies the delay between each card expanding. Alrighty, and that's all for the content tab. Now let's head over into the design tab and take a look at how to style this widget. The design tab provides the ability to personalize the appearance of the expanding cards. The majority of these options pertain to text formatting and are pretty self-explanatory. However, there are several features that warrant specific attention. Starting with card styling. This section allows you to customize the appearance of the cards. Within this section, we have a cards gap. This adds a gap between each card. Next, we have active card size. This adjusts the width of the active cards based on the widget's aspect ratio. Following that, we have image gradient overlay. When the image gradient overlay option is enabled, an overlay is applied to each card. This can help make text more readable against the card image. Enabling this option activates four additional settings in the widget. 
we have overlay gradient color one. This sets the gradient color that appears on the top half of the gradient and overlay gradient color two. This sets the gradient color that appears on the bottom half of the gradient. Overlay gradient direction. This sets the direction in which the overlay gradient is displayed. Next, we have gradient color two stop position. This defines the position within the card where the gradient color two stops. A value of zero will fill the entire image with the gradient while a value of 100 stops the gradient at the midpoint. For this example, we'll leave image gradient overlay enabled with its default settings and continue moving down. Next, we have corner radius. This applies a radius to the corners of each card. Next, we have the card title styling section. These options allow you to customize the appearance of the card's titles. In here, we have toggles for show title on desktop, tablet, and mobile. These toggles will show or hide the card titles for each layout. We have card description styling. Use these settings to customize the appearance of the card descriptions. In here, we can see similar visibility toggles for the description on desktop, tablet, and mobile layouts. Next, we have card button styling. Use these settings to customize the appearance of the card buttons. In here, we also see those same visibility toggles for the card's button on desktop, tablet, and mobile layouts. Perfect. So now we can grab our preview URL and see this widget in action. And if we scroll down the page, we can see we have our expandable cards widget here, and it's not only enhancing the visual appeal, but also adds some nice movement and interaction to the page. With that, my name is Norman Durkee, and you've been rocked with the best website builder platform on the planet, Quocode.com. And until next time, and as always, if you have any questions, please reach out to support. We're always here to help.